know about you, but I'm blown away by the lack of civility and kindness in our world. A few years ago, I created a Twitter account with the sole purpose to follow professional tennis, which I've always loved. Fast forward a few years, and I have to tell you, I get depressed looking at Twitter. It's filled with hateful comments and ideas. There are people who think nothing of saying player A should die or is worthless because one, they either lost a match they should have won, or two, they beat someone else's favorite player. Think about that for a moment. Sending a note to someone and saying they should die because of a tennis match. And that's just tennis. Think about the hate you see when talk turns to politics. Family members refuse to share meals together because of differing political views. Lifelong friends turn away from one another. Complete strangers wish for bad things to happen to each other. It's sad and it makes for a lot of ugliness in our world. Several weeks ago, we were discussing this in a staff meeting at church and someone suggested we needed to urge people to focus on being kind to each other, to push random acts of kindness. We're starting to do that just this week. Uh, the Bible and Jesus, they have a lot to say about being kind. In fact, one of Jesus' commandments in John 13, 34 was to love one another as I have loved you. That's an instruction to be kind, always and to everyone. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ephesians 4.32 tells us to be kind and merciful and to forgive others just as God forgave you because of Christ. And Micah 6.8 is one of my favorites. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness? There's a million ways to show kindness. A smile, uh, a compliment, uh, a note to someone who's struggling, but the real key to kindness starts deep inside us. In those moments when we find ourselves having harsh feelings towards someone else, when we catch ourselves uh, making negative judgments and criticizing those we disagree with, we need to nip those thoughts in the bud and turn that negative into something positive. Instead of wishing someone would get what we think they deserve, maybe we should pray for them instead. I wonder what might happen if those rabid supporters, all those rabid supporters of Joe Biden and Donald Trump would spend some time praying for each other instead of tearing each other down. Just a thought. Uh, as, hard, as hard as it may be at times, you can't ever go wrong by showing kindness to someone else. And when we're kind, we reap a blessing for ourselves, as we're told in Proverbs 11:17. Look around this world we live in today, and it doesn't take long to realize how short we are on kindness. It's needed now more than ever. And know this too, we can't even begin to imagine how God may use the kindness we show. Our kindness could change the world in ways we never know. Uh, being kind could change someone's perspective. It could, uh, it could bring hope to the hopeless, and it could be the light of the Lord in a world that is dark and hostile and indifferent. It doesn't cost much to choose kindness. We have it in us to give, and the world needs it today more than ever. So choose kindness and have a blessed day.